Today we're gonna make a 3D printer. We're gonna make a Pokeball right now. It's cool. my dad. Awesome. So we just got this 3D printer, right? Yeah. And obviously daddy put it together, but he did end up helping me. Um, now that we got the 3D printer and it's been assembled, we've already done a couple of trial prints. Uh, we ended up printing some Among Us characters. Today we're gonna be doing uh, a Pokeball. Yes, today we're going to be doing a Pokeball, but it's pretty much, um, you know, black and to... white. Yes, it's only, oh yeah, so it's only black and white because that's the only filament that we have right now. We only have black and white strings. Yeah, filament. It's called filament. But, oh. yeah, so we have more filament coming on the way. Um, obviously, so we can use different colors, but right now it's just going to be black and white uh, Pokemon. Ball. But there is a black and white Pokeball, but yeah. it has yellow stripes. Yeah. So, uh, for this one, pretty much, um, just to let you guys know, we got this from Thingiverse. Obviously, um, this has already been created by someone. Go ahead and uh, put that down in the link below. We're going to go ahead and get started with this. We're going to do some time lapses just so you guys can see the process of it. And at the end, we're just going to go ahead and assemble the Pokemon ball, right? Which is only going to be, unfortunately, just black and white this time. But, but, like we said, we're going to order more filament, right? So we can do different colors. Let's go ahead and get started with this. Ready? Okay. Alright, so here is our new 3D printer. Uh, we got this, pretty much we got the files loaded up right there. That's what we're going to be printing. Again, we got this from Thingiverse. Uh, the link will be down below if you guys want to do uh, the Pokemon as well. You excited to make this Pokemon ball? Yeah. Alright, so let's go ahead and you want to go ahead and press the button? Okay, so we're doing this one right here. Um, again, this is what it shows in our end, but obviously you have to download them, uh, convert them for your printer, and so on. So we're going to start off with the bottom. Alright Isaac, you want to go ahead and press press this button down? Yeah. Uh-huh. Go ahead and press it down. Okay, that's it. So, now it's going to start printing and we'll go ahead and pull that time lapse for you guys. All right, Isaac, so we Wait. looks like we're running out of filament, right? That's all we have left of the white right there. Pretty much nothing. But this it's almost what, done. Yeah, so pretty much uh, this is what it's looking like right now. Uh, I'm probably just going to have to attach this black filament right here and feed it through. Never done that before. Obviously, this is our pretty much our second. Um, Third Pokeball. No, our second print. So, um, yeah, so we're just gonna try to feed that one and keep it going. Um, this is gonna take, so we're down two hours of printing and there's still about four hours left. So, 
just for one side of the Pokeball Isaac is gonna be six hours. No. All right, guys. So we'll see what happens. Peace. give you guys a uh, pretty much another update on what's going on um, this pretty much has been taking uh, a long time obviously we're new to this so just this itself which is the uh, uh, I believe this is the bottom section of the Pokemon ball and um, we're gonna pick, pick, pick a Pokemon and mm -hmm. then put it in there yeah you can make a Pokemon later but uh, yeah. this is the bottom section this took about pretty much like I think it was like seven hours to make so we kind of left it overnight uh, this is what we have so far we're already on to day two right here uh we have the bottom section of the pokemon ball and then we have let me see that so we have the uh section that's going to go right here and that one pretty much lays um other way it pretty much goes like this on top uh yeah. right now right now we're actually making the button that's going to go right here after when we put the button we're going to build it when it's done we're going to connect it Yes, we're gonna end up gluing it and connecting uh, everything together. There's some hinges right here as well, where pretty much it's gonna pop open. Uh, we still have the top section to do, which is gonna be probably another seven, eight hours. Filament, like I said earlier in the video, um, I only had black and white. We ran out of white, um, but it actually ended up messing up. So, uh, you know, this is all the white that we had left. Um, this, we can't use it anymore, so. Uh, we're done. Building it, it's going to be just like that. Well, this is the bottom but, section as well. So, uh, these ones right here took about an hour. Right, Isaac? Yeah. Obviously, they're not perfect. There's some imperfections, but this is our first time doing or working with a 3D printer. Right? It has, let me show you guys. It has 98% when it gets to 100, okay. we're done. Uh, pretty much this is the last piece right here. Uh, it's almost done right now. We're at 99% done. And then we're gonna start building it. We're seven hours into the print job. Just to let you guys know, this is gonna be uh, the bottom section. And then right now what's printing is pretty much what goes on top. I've already printed the other pieces that go in the middle. Uh, those took about, I think it was close to an hour each. Um, and then we had to do, the, we had to do the button. The button was probably the shortest. Obviously, it's 
it didn't take that much uh, filament so um, yeah looks like it's almost done and I'm just gonna go ahead and put it together and we'll show you guys what the black on black uh, Pokemon ball will look like it's and gonna be all black man when it turns to 100, it's gonna oh, stop. There it is. All right, guys. See you guys. Just to show you guys real quick. Uh, pretty much, uh, this is the, uh, the printout right here, and I did obviously use supports. Uh, so we use supports pretty much right here because of the angle. Uh, on this one over here, uh, it actually came out good. I used no supports on this one. Um, but I did have kind of a rough finish in the inside um, you guys can tell right there and this one we did actually I'm gonna go ahead and pull it off right now all right guys so here it is I pulled it off there's a support that I added in there that way we didn't have that uh, rough surface like we did on the other one same with this, this is gonna come off all right let's go ahead and get started this is the bottom side this is the top side and then we have these that go along with it and with the button and the circle in the front so pretty much just to let you guys know this took us about 15 to I, think I would say like in between 15 and 16 possibly 17 hours so we're gonna go ahead and start assembling it I uh, just want to give you guys a little uh, demonstration of you know what the pieces look like we are still missing the stand, but uh, I think we're going to go ahead and do that later. But we're going to go ahead and put this together and we'll see how it goes. Much what we're going to end up doing first here is, as you guys can see right here, uh, this is the button. I went ahead and pretty much glued on with some crazy glue uh, spring. Uh, I was told that you can get this from like a pen or uh, pretty much a pencil. So get the spring out of there. This is what's gonna go into the one uh, that has pretty much the hole in here. This one's gonna go, this piece needs to go down into that little slot right there. Uh, the back side, just like so. Let's go ahead and grab the other side. All right, so now that this part has been glued on to the bottom side of the Pokeball, we're going to go ahead and use a use little piece of filament that's going to end up going uh, through these holes right here and uh, which is going to connect the top section of the gonna connect uh, right there so that's going to be able to let you open and close it all right so let's go ahead and do that all right guys so pretty much when you're done this is what it's going to look like um, well, obviously ours wasn't perfect but uh, you know pretty much this is what we were able to do this is our first print obviously this is not completely aligned correctly again this is just our pretty much our second print actually so um, again we were planning on doing red we ended up just doing black on black because it's the only color or filament actually that we had pretty much this is what we ended up with again not everything is perfect but uh, for their second print this isn't too bad I would say. Um, other than that, obviously there's some upgrades that we can do to the printer to get some better um, alignments. Other than that, I think Isaac's going to be happy with his new uh, Pokemon ball, right man? Yeah. What do you think? Let me see. Okay, what do you think about your Pokemon ball? Cool. You like it? Cool too. Alright, so pretty much you'll just close it. Then you're going to go ahead and open it. Close again. So we're definitely gonna make another one, obviously make it a little bit better than that. Because it's gonna be different. Yeah, it's definitely gonna be but different. Daddy, right now we only had black. Um, that's all that, you know, that's pretty much what we had for this time. Again, this is probably only like our second print. Uh, make sure you guys stay tuned and definitely, uh, you know, give us a like if you think it's cool. Follow my videos and subscribe to my videos and smash that like button. Cool. And then make sure you guys stay tuned for our next print.